Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. Today we're going to be covering a rather popular rune word, um, and that is because it is a plus one skill item. And uh, this particular rune word does not have any variations of any type, and uh, it is made with relatively easy to come by runes, and uh, it's one of the reasons why, number one, it's so popular, and number two, um, people love to make it. Uh, so the first rune is the Ort rune, and it's rather easy to come by. And the second rune is the Soul rune, which has a level requirement of 27, and uh, makes the item a level 27 item. And that is one of the downsides to this particular helmet. Uh, it is a nice plus one to all skills helmet, but it is also a level 27 helmet. And usually by the time you're using this, um, you have just finished normal difficulty, and you're on your way into uh, nightmare difficulty. Um, so it's a little less awesome... Uh, because once you get to Nightmare Difficulty, you have all these negative resistances, and those negative resistances are going to make things a little bit more difficult for you. Um, especially considering that this particular helmet does not really have the greatest resistances uh, in the first place. Uh, the only resist it has, actually, is uh, is lightning. So, uh, so if we take off our other equipment here, and uh, you can get an idea... Of, uh, of what kind of resistances we're going to be looking at in Nightmare Difficulty. Um, and uh, as you can see, I have a negative 10 here, uh, and then, of course, with the helmet on, I'm at 20% lightning. So not the greatest. Uh, this helmet does not have any variables, and, uh, and it is always plus 1 to all skills with a level 27 requirement, uh, plus 10 to energy, which is nice to have. It's going to be 20 energy on a Necromancer. It does vary from class to class because each class has a slightly different uh, uh, mana per energy point uh, variable. We also have Lightning Resist 30%, which comes from the Ort rune. Uh, damage Reduced Rise 7, which comes from the Soul rune. Uh, plus 2 to manage after each kill, which is always nice to have. Um, that is just flat mana that's added to you every time you make a kill. And plus 2 to Light Radius. Now, the damage reduced by 7 is pretty nice. That's physical damage. So anytime a hit comes in, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's 100 or 1,000, it's going to reduce that hit by 7. And as you can imagine, if a hit comes in at 7, it's going to cancel it out entirely. So uh, damage reduced by can be uh, useful in certain situations. Um, it's not going to save your life from a giant massive hit, but it will uh, make your life a little bit easier versus those smaller hits. Uh, so interesting. And uh, it, the helmet is is really just a nice plus one helmet. That's really all there is to it. Um, but like I said, once you're getting into nightmare difficulty, which is where level twenty seven starts to 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 you know get you to, uh, I I would say that maybe uh, more realistically, level twenty seven is Act Five normal. But um, but by the time you get this helmet and you put it on, you kill Bale, and you get to Nightmare, um, you're working into a much more difficult zone. So do keep that in mind. Uh, now, because of the relatively cheap nature of this helmet, because it's a Ort and a Soul Rune, which are really easy to come by, uh, because you can make it in, uh, in just about any two-socket helmet... Um, and two socket helmets are extremely easy to come by in normal difficulty. Uh, you will have absolutely no problem making this, using it, and then if you happen to find something better, chuck it on the ground. You know, maybe for one of your friends, or maybe just throw it away, because it's really not that difficult to create. Um, if you're fresh leveling up a character and you have uh, you have nothing else, then you might have a little bit of trouble getting your hands on a soul rune. Uh, soul runes do tend to drop a little bit more rarely in normal difficulty, and uh, once you get into Act 4 and Act 5, you'll start to see them dropping. Um, and it's not really until Nightmare difficulty when you really start to see a lot of soul runes, and eventually it gets to the point where you have so many soul runes you don't know what to do with them. So it's not that I'm saying that soul runes are rare, they're not by any means, but as a normal difficulty character... If you do happen to find a soul rune, this is a good use of your soul rune. Um, this is going to get you your plus one to skills early on. Um, it's going to allow you to beef up your necromancer or your sorceress. Or, uh, you know, actually, plus one to skills works on just about everybody. Uh, certain characters get more of a benefit than others. But, uh, you know, it, it's nice to have a plus one to skills helmet. And there's really not a lot of other good options for, um, for helmet rune words. 
I mean, there's Radiance, which isn't really that great. Um, there is, uh, you know, Nadir, which is a much lower level rune word, and this definitely trumps Nadir by miles. And, uh, you know, and then there's some really high level helmet rune words, like Dream. But, uh, but you're not going to find a much better rune word to put in a helmet other than this one around this level. And um, there are some other options as far as helmets go, uh, especially when you're looking at, like, unique items or perhaps a, uh, a rare circlet uh, with plus the skills on it. Or maybe you happen to find a, a really good magic like item with plus the skills. Uh, you can you can actually locate uh, circlets with like particular trees, which might be decent to use. Um, you know, it's 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 really a toss up. And and you know, once you get to a certain level, there's other helmets that'll start dropping, like uh, like Sazabis, which is actually much better than a lore helmet in my opinion. Um, it actually has two resistances on it, as well as some other stats. Whereas uh, lore only has one resist and not really that many other stats. The only thing that lore has going for it is that plus two to mana after each kill, and it's it's really not enough to sustain you. You're going to have to augment that with some other plus to mana after each kill. Um, plus to mana after each kill, by the way, is actually extremely effective for um, for any character that can't steal mana. If you can steal mana, you should probably be stealing mana. But if you're a uh, caster class who doesn't attack, then obviously you can't steal mana. So plus to mana after each kill is your bread and butter. And uh, and trust me when I say that if you have enough of it, when you make a kill, it's going to fill up most of your mana bar, which is absolutely beautiful. Anyway, there's not much more to say about this helmet. It's a great low-level helmet. It's a great plus one to skills helmet. There are other options, but uh, but it's easy to make. And, uh, and if you find any of those other options, you can just check them on the ground. As always, thanks for watching, and keep watching.